there are so many people in this agency world who are coming out. In six months straight, they go from exuberance to depression. We don't know what to do next. And you need to like the work to be in this business. But uh, don't you feel with glamour attached to the agency business? Where is glamour? Let me show you. In my opinion, the most enterprising people are the people who can actually run agencies. Because they if you want to make money, there are many professions where you can make money from agencies. It's a little bit less work. Yeah, it's a little bit less work. It's a little bit less work. Right. I have a slightly different yeah. opinion on that. I don't believe in just find your passion and then become great at that right. part of it. Mm-hmm. So I was never since birth or you know, even in my right. college years passionate about the fact that I'm an agency owner. Right. 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 And you are how old? I'm 20. Right? 20. 20. Oh. <laughs> I am always used to being the youngest too. <laughs> His followers who are starting agencies and doing good business are like 15, 16 ke aare bhaiya ne bola hai. Humne 10 crore kya pata kya. Awesome. So thank you all for making it. You know there are. I'm sure you all know that to put a focus group together of people who you really want is you know there are many chances of things not happening. But thanks a lot. My dad always says, uh, you know, in today's in- scenario, if you want money, there are many people to give you money. But if you want time, there are very few people who give you time. So I really value all of you people being here, giving me your time. Thank you. Thank you. So one of the ideas that came behind this was, and I'll tell you how, I'll sort of lead into the story and then we we'll start uh, with the actual uh, podcast. So I've got a gift for all of you people over here. Uh, if you can just open it and it's, uh, and then there's something for you at least because I don't know, I just feel that when you go back, we have to go back. So anybody who name came you. you may have read this book. I toyed a lot with the idea of crosswords yesterday for two hours. Different book for everyone, same book for everyone. Have they read it? Have they not? Will it be a favorite man? And eventually I came to this decision that you might have heard or read or whatever. But I thought it can still be a really recommended gift. And we can open the other gift also. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think I'm everything when I go back to the office. So I, I know who to give this to. So many of you have this book. Uh, the last two I sent this book. I have only five sentences. But I spoke to you about this book when I sent spoke to you last time. Uh, I just talk about this. I just set the context a few seconds, few minutes, and then we'll go out. Thank you. Very popular. Yeah, yeah. What's that? I'm sorry, he's not. I've read a lot of his tweets also. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's what like, I was zero. Different no, but decision. it's a good book to have. Yeah. You can always give it to more people. Ah, ah, exactly, exactly. This is something which I... Uh, so, so anyway, so the this the whole thought of every all of these podcasts and all of these things started with... Uh, so I was a guilty father for a long time. I was traveling back and forth between Vancouver and Delhi. Like, every month for 10 flights a year and straight 10 plus years of doing this. Proud of the miles that I had, proud of the fact that a lot of people at the would give me, you know, the importance that, you know, a large man needs, you know, kind of free upgrades and everything. But the guilty father was staying away from, you know, the kids for a long time. Raya now 18 and uh, Abhyam is 14. This is about four years, four, five years ago. So I was like, you know, let me, let me do something to sort of uh, feel less guilty and also help them get into the whole ecosystem of Entrepreneurship. Jo aata hai, sikha sakte ho. So we made a list of about 200 plus people. And I think Virat, you know that story. So we made a list of 200 people and we said five minutes and videos to them. Sending personalized videos to people has always been uh, something which has always opened doors for me. You know, even from the first time a phone could make videos. But personalized videos for everybody meant 20 minutes of research and at least half an hour making the video and then half an hour edit. And then 200 videos means you lose track, focus and all of that. Six months, about 62 people said yes. And then we came up with this book called The Internet Moguls of the World, where we interviewed uh, 15 plus people from around the world. It became, it, we sold about 8,000 copies. The girls made money. We're all 33, 33, 34 percent partners. There are only one question I've not been able to answer. How come you're 34 and we're 33? Hmm. As we'll come back to that later. But what happened was, as a result, it opened up their minds to how different people think. A lot of people canceled, a lot of people gave the interview, then canceled. There's some billionaires who sent us a legal notice after we put their thing, after, you know, everything was... So they saw exactly why a small book project which made, which sold 8,000 books and made, you know, some $30,000 in profit. Small small thing like that can also run into so many troubles. And so they got a sense of how 
it can be fun and not fun at the same time. People are saying get up at three in the morning. Like why are people insensitive? Don't they know? Not check our time. They say no, nobody going to check your time. It's your request. So anyway, that happened. And today, uh, when they're both getting into entrepreneurship and you know, one is eighteen, and they think you're what to do. They have the strongest roller decks, you know, that I think that te- teenagers can have. So with that, uh, that whole experience was sort of uh, beautiful. So once that happened, we realized that we have a community or a small community of people since I've been an agency owner for a while. There are so many people in, the, in this agency world who are coming out. And uh, well, for a lack of a better word, in six months straight, they go from exuberance to depression. We don't know what to do next. They just see on the internet, agency world is great, everybody is doing well. And from the corporate agencies to the standalone agencies with founders, without founders, most people are lost. So we created a small community. Five, seven thousand people. We asked them which are the questions that are bother you a lot, and we got some of these questions. And we thought, who better than to call out a few people to help us answer these questions for these up and coming rising stars? And some people were really good, but they are, you know, I don't know if there's a roadmap that we're seeking from here, but maybe some conversation that you know strike a chord with anybody who watches this. Thank you very much. Okay, so before we start, we'll just, you know, go with a round of introductions, the best way you want to introduce yourself. Like, I always say my name is Abhi Arya, father of two girls, six dogs, husband to a superwoman, a streetcar racer turned hotelier, now founder of Internet Moguls. So, that's who, like how I like to introduce myself. So, we'll start with you. Okay, I'm Harshal. I uh, run, I founded and run Shebang and enjoying building the company right now into next phase of growth. Uh, I myself are in the part of founder and CEO of uh, Edimize. Hi, my name is Soumya, Soumya Ayer. Um, I'm the founder and CEO of Divyo uh, and Digital. Uh, I founded this uh, company now almost uh, 13 years ago. I've been enjoying uh, the ride. I think uh, I look at myself as the most fulfilled individual primarily because I'm an entrepreneur. Lovely. Yeah, I'm a mother of a 15 year old. And uh, the business actually has sort of grown up together, so it's been... Oh, nice. <laughs> I, know, I know that feeling. Perfect. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rohan, uh, the founder of Kinect. Now FCB Kinect and FCB 6 India. I have two kids. One is a two-year-old and one is a 12-year-old, which I had with my uh, wife, which is Kinect, uh, which is our first baby outside of wedlock. Okay. Uh, so we run this together and we still manage to not tear each other apart. So I think that's an achievement. 100%. That is 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Do you have this tag going on your website? <laughs> oh, well, in, in different ways. <laughs> in different ways. <laughs> it, could be, like, it could be, you know, your, your HR can benefit from that. You know, because yeah. you know, <laughs> I wouldn't suggest to everyone. No? no? Okay. My husband is anti policy. Husband is anti policy. I know, that's also a good thing. Hamari bhi hai. You know, but I can't write it. We wanted to put that in place, but. Yeah. I wouldn't have made sense, yeah. yeah. I don't read by example. Viraj. <laughs> I'm Viraj. I run a talent agency and an influence marketing company called Monk Entertainment. I have been single for as long as I know. I have no kids. <laughs> Not in wedlock or out of it. So, yeah. Okay, that's, I like that. <laughs> Because everyone was stating <laughs> let's put that forward. No, perfect, perfect. I like that. Okay. So, you know, a lot of people say this is one word which is going around and I have my opinion and I, you know, I don't want to set the context for any opinion. So, I, but I, so I'll be the last to say what I feel after learning from all of you people. There's this huge thing on the internet which says first find your passion and then build your business around it. You know, and now right now we're addressing this community called agency founders. So, you know, what's, what's your take on it? First passion and then business or business can be, it's for money, find your passion elsewhere or mix and match. No, I think so. I think you need to have passion to be in this business. It's a difficult business. It's uh, You need to like the business and you need to like the work to be in this business. Uh, so combination of, you know, managing people, uh, seeing trends with data, seeing, you know, being able to uh, really engage in the creative process. Uh, so I think it's a, you need to have a mix of all skills. Uh, obviously the constant scale of, you know, constant phase of learnability because you need to keep upskilling yourself. So if these are the things you have, then you will probably be a good fit for this business. And, 
a genuine desire for this business to right. you know to be able to understand what this business really stands for it's a business that's built its foundations in the uk and america so going back to that seeing a lot of the you know the 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 birth of advertising and seeing what that can do and then the birth of the internet age and now we'll go into the third age so if you see yourself connecting those dots then then i would suggest joining this business okay Hi guys, this is Ravi. I hope you are enjoying watching this video. When we showed us a break here, just to let you know that there are three ways to get in touch with us. Number one, there's a WhatsApp number over here. Click on the WhatsApp number. Somebody from my team will get in touch with you. Second, there is a link in the description where you can fill up a form, tell us about your business challenges, and somebody from my team will get back. And third, you can email me and my team directly and tell us about your business challenges. So there are multiple ways of getting in touch with us so that we can help you. to be able to overcome your entrepreneurship agency founder and coaching challenges enjoy watching this video continue or pause by for now so uh, guys i would just say any let's anybody we won't go you know yeah. stop by when whoever feels more passionate about this whichever subject is on the table so it can jump in but uh, don't you feel with, because there's a lot of glamour attached to you know the agency business so a lot of i don't know where's the glamour yeah, to be honest <laughs> only only the only person who has glamour is viraj because he's the one talking on the kans uh, red carpet i think you know people like rohan so i know we are like uh, i am to call myself bandua mazdoor so you know i i have not there's no glamour no, but it's good for people to know this because they, a lot of people get in thinking it's this kidhar hai glamour mereko dikhao na there is enough <laughs> between all the pr like it's the most pr industry Actively observing and finding solutions. Right. You are in the business of finding solutions for your clients day in and day out. You almost own up to those businesses in a way. It's as if it's your business, and you're finding solutions to their problems every day. So the scope of our document is only when you sign it. After that, is that you? you no, but that's the problem, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that is where then it sort of you know you lose track of what you're doing. You just get into a hustle life, and you lose the sight of why you're running the agency in the right. first place. I think that's the more difficult part. Mm. You know, when you start looking at the Excel sheet uh, more than you know the why of the business is where you lose your track. But I think the important thing to sort of really keep your heart and passion in the business. See, पैसे बनाने के लिए अगर ये धंधे में आओ तो ना बहुत सारे professions हैं जहाँ पे बहुत सारे पैसे बन सकते हैं agency से ज़्यादा. हाँ, थोड़ा कम काम करके. और कम काम करके. Right. Right. But you're in it because you are choosing to be in it. Uh. Right. And and it is not for the glamour. So anything that you end up doing for the glamour will last only a while. Thank you for saying that. Anyway, anything that you do for glamour is gonna last you only okay. a while. And you've got to be able to wake up every morning and choose to do this, right? mm. which is the most difficult part. Because there'll be hard days, there'll be hard days. Yeah. Actually, yeah. सिर्फ पैसे बनाने का काम है तो सबसे ज्यादा अभी टेबल पे रोहन ने बनाया तो वी कैन हियर फ्रॉम हिम बिकॉज आई थिंक यू नो आई जस्ट हैव अ पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑन दिस बिकॉज आई यू नो आई आई फील लाइक व्हेन वी से ना दैट देर आर अदर एरियाज सॉरी हम बट आई फील लाइक व्हेन वी से व्हेन देर आर अदर इंडस्ट्रीज टू मेक बेटर मनी आई फील लाइक वी नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट वी आर इनफ मेकिंग मनी इनफ ऑन द टेबल बिकॉज इट्स नॉट राइट फॉर अस टू से दैट लुक देर अदर यू नो वी आर सिटिंग हियर I, at least that's what I feel. I mean, there might be a harsh reality that we are not making enough money on the table, but then we need to figure out how to do that. That's right. So I think where fundamentally the challenge is is no hundred percent right. So the point is passion or business. Right. Okay, conversation. Ah, mein, thank you. We are all choosing to do what we are doing. Yeah. I, I, I have a slightly different yeah. opinion on that. Uh, I think for me, I, I look at myself as a third grade entrepreneur. I happen to be the CEO of a advertising and digital marketing agency, so I think passion follows places where you become good at it, um, and you spend enough time at something, you become really good at it, and you become passionate about it. Right. I don't believe in just find your passion and then become you know uh, great at that right. part of it, and you know you'll only become good at what you're passionate about. Yeah. You'll become like if you start playing a sport, you start becoming good at it, you'll automatically become more passionate about that sport. Correct. So at least in my uh, personal opinion, I feel 
uh, whatever I would start becoming good at or I put enough effort to becoming good at, I would develop passion towards it. Makes sense. I agree with him because when we started off, there was so in India the talent market was only cricketers and Bollywood, mm. right? There was no like influencer market per se. So there was no way for me to have a passion for that in the first place because it technically didn't exist. Yes. It was uh, really nascent stages for that. Uh, but I mean, I had seen Entourage in my third year of engineering. But 21 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had seen it a bunch of times and I was like, okay, this is cool. I would want to do something. But there was no way I was going to end up doing something like that because I had no entry into Bollywood or cricket. Um, so for it to fall uh, correctly two years after watching that show, me reconnecting uh, with Ranveer, we figuring out how can we make a talent agency out of this, was something that was just like, it just happened by pure luck, honestly. And then after figuring that, hey, you know what, these are the opportunities that can be unlocked for talent. How can we ensure that, you know, influencers all across were not because at that point the biggest um, I think blot on the market was that agencies are absolutely not transparent right especially agencies that deal with talent mm. because uh, agencies were known always to arm twist because they were big media operations arm twist individuals into um, you know making more money off them you know siphoning more money from them cheating them etc etc so the goal was to build an agency that didn't do that, that was actually for the creator um, as opposed to otherwise. Um, so, I mean, I personally found a lot of those tenets for building the company as I, I you know, got myself deeper into the industry. And then I realized these were the problems that I was actually passionate about wanting to solve. Mm -hmm. So I was never since birth or you know even in my right. college years passionate about the fact that you didn't see owner but mm -hmm. like, you know what see sometimes you look for signs you know I'll tell you for me the sign was uh, I had done 11 12th IB diploma program nobody was it was back in 2005 I had graduated nobody would take IB diploma grades in Mumbai University my daughter just did that so yeah but now is the trend yeah. no now now everybody's yeah. taking it and there it was like you know IB karo to you'll have to go abroad and I was like itne sare paise spend karne ke I don't know what I'm up to mm -hmm. so to spend that my dad told me saying boss you know what you want to do I had gone into some course environmental economics I mean I liked all this environment and all also I still like it but it was, uh, you know, no future in India. So I said, what am I going to do? So then I went, did the chakra of all the Indian colleges and uh, sometimes you get a sign, you know. So in the Indian colleges, one of the signs, a mass media course said, nobody's accepting the grades, we'll accept your grade, but you sit on the entrance exam. Entrance exam, there were some, I think, if I'm not mistaken, some three, four thousand people writing that entrance exam. I'd never come good in grades. I came third out of three, four thousand people. So I was like, okay, you know, this is something I'm good at. You know, let's do this. <laughs> nice, nice. You know, I've, I've seen, uh, you know, like they say, hindsight is twenty twenty. Looking back and giving something is so easy. Going forward is always gray and hazy. Actually, I read something yesterday only which said if you're going, if you're going forward in life on a mission and you uh, can see it very clearly on somebody else. Uh, so very interesting. Anyway, so what I've realized over the years is that uh, if you do well, you So, you know, so I'm just saying, I'm reflecting back and seeing how things have worked. So, it's never been uh, like 20 years back starting an agency, but never think for you also. We didn't even call it an agency. We didn't even know what an agency is, to be very honest. We just called it uh, consulting for hotels. Anyway. TikTok nahi tha. And you are how old? I'm 20 right 20. 20? 20. 20. Oh. <laughs> I'm always used to being the youngest too. Okay. <laughs> his, his, his followers who are starting agencies and doing good business are like 15, 16 ke Aryan bhaiya ne bol hai. Ab humne 10 crore ke apadha ke. Aryan aapke kitne follower hai? 185 ke. Wow. But he's like one of those, you know like tribes he's got. Haan, nahi, pata hai. Haan. Yeah, like मतलब ये दो भैया लोग हैं जिनसे स्टार्टिंग 
सो उस टाइम एडिमाइज हमने नाम रख मेरे चैनल का नाम टेक ऑप्टिमाइज था तो एडिमाइज नाम रख दिया अब वो नाम रख के स्टार्टिंग ऐसी हुई कि इन्फ्लुएंसर मार्केटिंग करेंगे और टिकटॉकर्स को नया नया पैसा पक्को मिला था तो नया नया था तो वो एजेंसी ओनर्स उस टाइम फिफ्टी परसेंट सिक्सटी परसेंट की कमीशन एजेंसी ओनर्स का था हाँ तो मेरे एक फ्रेंड्स थे वहीं पे हम लोग एक थे तो वहीं पे वो टिकटॉकर ही थे तो उनके सेवन हंड्रेड के फॉलोअर्स हो गए तो उनको अच्छी अच्छी डील सारी थी कहीं चिप्स की आ रही थी कहीं कोई ओप क्या रहा था सो so, बहुत फैसिनेटिंग लगा कि यार यही सही है कि आएगा पैसा और कुछ भी नहीं करना है कहाँ से शुरू किया आपने भोपाल भोपाल उस टाइम हाउ ओल्ड वो तो पहला वीडियो था एक उससे वीडियो तो बहुत पहला ये ये और स्टार्टिंग हो चुकी उससे पहले यूट्यूब बहुत कर लिया ड्रॉप शिपिंग कर ली ब्लॉगिंग कर ली एफिलेट मार्केटिंग सब ट्राई करके बैठ गए थे कि कुछ भी नहीं हो रहा है तीन चार है उटिंग So he said, first year whatever trending, go make your business around it. Twenty one year old guy. Second, he said that I had no money. I didn't want to do any Facebook ads or whatever. So I made a small team for my college uh, friends, and I said, start reaching out to people and say, "Okay, ham, you know, ham bhi aise chocolates wagera bata rahe. We give you twenty percent to do whatever." Uh, he said, most people said hundred dollars chahiye, three hundred dollars chahiye. He said that I said, how many people said this? He said, ninety seven people are saying they want money. Three people are saying we do it for free. He said, if three are doing it for free, then reach out to thousand people and get the vote. Three hundred people out of that. So anyway, long story short, today he's he reached out to three hundred thousand people. Today he's got a Discord community of twenty five hundred people, and every day, whichever is the trending video with it from the tribe, he puts it on the group and he tells everybody, "This is the trending video. You guys try to copy that video." Twenty five hundred videos go out every single day, and he did eleven million dollars in his first year in sales. Wow! Wow! So it's just you know when coming back to what he's saying is that there are this they they are at that age or whatever is happening right now. I'm not generalizing. I'm giving credit to you know people, uh, boys like Arun. They're relentless. But three percent का number देख के I think most of us I would say यार कुछ और सोचते हैं. Three percent है उसी में दस लाख लोग क्या इधर time ही तो है हमारे पास उसी में business बना रहे हैं. Sorry हमने मैंने शायद cut off कर दिया आपको कुछ कह रहे थे आप. So influencer marketing मतलब easy लगता है तो मेरे को भी उस time easy लगा कि बस brand को email करना है वो हमको देनी तो हम इनको देंगे. तो ट्राई करा कुछ कुछ भी नहीं मिला वहाँ पे फिर ठंडे पड़ गए तो वो ग्लैमर जो दिखता था पैसा दिखता था वो वहाँ पे जो बोलते हैं ना कि विदाउट पैशन कुछ नहीं होता तो पैशन वैशन कुछ नहीं था जस्ट पैसा कमाना था कुछ भी नहीं और फिर बाद में जब चालू करा कोर्स फेसबुक एड्स का जो मैंने ड्रॉप शिपिंग में सीखा था तो उससे बाई चांस क्योंकि तो वेबसाइट बनी हुई थी इन्फ्लुंसर मार्केटिंग के लिए तो डिजिटल मार्केटिंग वर्ड डाल के रखा था तो बाई चांस लोग रीच आउट करने लगे कि हमारे फेसबुक एड्स सुन कर दीजिए कोर्स के रीच आउट कर रहे थे क्योंकि पर्सनल ब्रांड बन रहा था साथ पर्सनल ब्रांडिंग हो रही थी क्योंकि चल रहे थे फेसबुक एड्स के कोर्स तो सब लोग वो खुद नहीं लेना चाहते हैं फेसबुक एड्स सीखेंगे टाइम लगेगा लॉस लॉस होगा तो उन्होंने डायरेक्टली मुझ पर करा तो बाय चांस एजेंसी ओनर बन गया फिर उसके बाद मजा आने लग गया कि जो एड शूट हो रहे हैं अलग अलग प्रोडक्ट के तो क्या होप देना है तो फेसबुक एड्स लाइक टारगेटिंग तो एक है ही है बट उससे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है कि जिस टाइप का क्रिएटिव बन रहा है जो अभी रील में अब आ गया कि होक होना चाहिए फिर आपका रिटेंशन होना चाहिए कॉल टू एक्शन होना चाहिए मतलब फेसबुक एड्स में ये बहुत पहले से है कि आपको अच्छा एक फेसबुक एड्स में कन्वर्जन लाना है तो आपका इट्स ऑल अबाउट क्रिएटिव तो क्या बेच रहे थे आप 
फिर मैं लोगों के मेरे को सबसे पहले रियल इस्टेट का क्लाइंट मिला अच्छा फरीदाबाद के जो सबसे बड़ा टॉवर बना रहे थे वो सो मतलब हर बार मजा आने लग गया तो फर्स्ट क्लाइंट मैंने ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड में क्लोज करा रिटेनर मंथली वो बैंगलोर से था उनका सेल्स का कोर्स था सेकेंड ये रियल इस्टेट वाले आए थे तो मैंने ट्वेंटी फाइव कर दिया उनने कहा हाँ ठीक है थर्ड एस्ट्रोन पंडित में भी आप लोग जानते होंगे तो उनका ब्रांड हम लोगों ने जीरो से मतलब उनका अकाउंट हम लोगों ने बनाया नाउ इज वन पॉइंट वन मिलियन फॉलोअर डूइंग वन करोड़ अ मंथ रेवेन्यू विद डिफरेंट वेंचर्स लाइक जेंस कंसल्टेशन कोर्सेज और सिक्स हंड्रेड लाइक अगर आप गूगल का डेटा देखोगे ना तो ये इसमें से इंडिकेशन यही आ रहा है कि इंडिया में तीस लाख स्ट्रॉन्ग एडवर्टाइजर अभी बन गए अगर आप गूगल प्लेटफॉर्म्स पे देखोगे उसमें से सपोज हम लोग बोले कि तीन जो प्रीमियम एंड एजेंसीज है वो तीन हजार क्लाइंट्स को केटर कर रहे mm-hmm. तो आप पकड़ो रिमेनिंग जो क्लाइंट्स है उसमें कितना धंधा है तीस लाख क्लाइंट है उसमें से तीन हजार तो अपने टॉप स्पेंडर्स होंगे mm-hmm. uh, जहां पे आई थिंक हम लोग सब ज्यादा उसमें mm-hmm. मतलब वी आर ट्राइंग टू टेक दैट पाए और जो दूसरा पाए इतना बड़ा पाए वो पड़ा हुआ है उसको केटर करने के लिए एक बहुत बड़ा बिजनेस बन सकता है You know, like when I when when the agency business for me because of being in hotels shut down for two years in COVID, I started doing online courses. Mm. Started another venture mm. for us. Or, today, us time online course to basically the there is no agency today. Mm. Uh, good agencies, including his. So online courses. In ka ek example hai, jo main ab uh, I ask your team, so main ya quote kar sakta hu. There is an astrologer who says that six hundred and ninety five rupees. You know, download karo. You know, like, chota sa video and all of that. Mm. Ha. एंड सो उसको थोड़ी देर बाद भेज रहे थे तो हाँ ठीक है फिर उसके बाद व्हाट्सअप मार्केटिंग अभी लाइक बूम पर है व्हाट्सएप से जो मतलब ये जितना थर्टी फोर्टी लाइक्स के बाद जो हमने बाकी का करा वो पूरा व्हाट्सएप मार्केटिंग है यू नो वन थिंग आई रियलाइज्ड यू नो व्हाट्स दैट इसलिए उनका नाम ऑप्टिमाइजर रखा है डिजिटल मार्केटर्स हैव बीन सेलिंग अ लॉट ऑफ डिजिटल मार्केटिंग प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर द लॉन्गेस्ट टाइम नाउ डिजिटल मार्केटर्स आर सेलिंग अदर प्रोडक्ट्स एंड दे रियलाइजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ यू नो इट्स बिकमिंग अ स्ट्रेंथ फॉर देम बिकॉज़ ये न्यूमेरोलॉजी वगैरह वाले को डिजिटल मार्केटिंग यू नो नहीं समझ आती अपने आप लॉट ऑफ दीस तो वी डिड अ कोर्स व्हिच वाज 4999 during covid become confident on camera because the next two years is going to be long that just a fluke we did 2 million dollars in two years wow. can you see 60 rupees ke sath the, the course that you were uploading yes and it obviously is uh, every was it like a physical course or a record course record course once a month once a week i used to do a class for all those people if you to call it dd the doubt demolition session yeah people will come and ask and those doubt demolitions were upsells बट नाउ कैक्स आर स्टेबिलाईजिंग नो वुड यू नॉट से बिकॉज मतलब इट्स नॉट सच अ फ्री ओपन मार्केट एनी मोर आई डोंट नो की सब कॉस्ट अभी तो इंक्रीज हो रहे हैं मेरे हिसाब से आपको क्या लग रहा है हाँ सबके हो रहे हैं सबके हो रहे हैं ना क्योंकि आजकल सभी लोग आ गए करेक्ट सभी लोग आ तो वो जो बेटिंग हो रही है उससे बढ़ती है इनफैक्ट अच्छा हो रहा है बिकॉज़ फ्रंट एंड पे यू ब्रेक इवन यू नो नहीं और फिर एवरीथिंग इज मूविंग टुवर्ड्स क्वालिटी ऑप्टिमाइजेशन तो हमारे ऐप में भी बिकॉज हम लोग एक ऐप ऐप भी सब्सक्रिप्शन सर्विस कर रहे हैं तो हम लोग करते थे CPI 2 CPI 3 पे उसमें से कन्वर्जन रेट आता है लेकिन uh, अभी हमें लॉन्ग टर्म अगर सस्टेन करना है तो प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी हैज टू बी वेरी वेरी गुड टू बी एबल टू सस्टेन बिकॉज रेगुलर अभी एक रन ऑफ द मिल चलेगा नहीं आई थिंक स्मॉल 
So obviously only maybe 10, 15% people respond or we open that email, 20% we find it a good open rate. But what we did was we said we got a uh, contest happening in an Amazon 5,000 rupee card, something like that. Respond back to that email and say, got it. And you immediately enter the contest. So 40% open rate because people responded. As soon as you respond, you get a uh, automated call through Obligator saying, hi Viraj, you wish, uh, thanks for downloading my course. I've sent you one more free email or something. Now there are, the open rate goes up, the show up rate to the webinar goes up. Now if these two things happen, then on the webinar, then whoever yes, they're, they're selling. Yeah. So these smaller, these almost free family automations are making, you know, sort of all the difference. See the big, uh, I think in this courses and other big, whatever I've noticed is a big creators who help you make more money. At least right now, that's the goal in India. If in the courses that help you make more money are the courses that are selling. Otherwise, then after that, you know, I guess once people's pockets are full, then you will want to spend on wellness right. and things like that. Right. So the trend is, uh, if I can become richer faster, then I'll buy a course. Right. So correct. Correct. Quote these people who send this. So there's Chirag Taneja from one advertising. He says, How do you manage and reduce employee turnover rate? Is, is there a strategy or you just deal with the headache all the time? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, here are the next steps. If you want to book a call with my consulting team to be able to understand how we can help your business as a coach or an agency founder, you're stuck, you're not getting sales, there's a link in the description. Click on the link and book a call with my team. In that 30 minute call, they'll understand what you need and accordingly give you the right resources and the right roadmap forward. Second, if you think that you're looking for the Avi area, personal mentorship, which I do very few of, but I do keep my slots open. Then again, click on the link in the description and speak to my team. They will understand your business and accordingly, if you and I are the right fit, they'll connect you and I on a 30 minute call and I look forward to talking to you. Thank you very much for watching all my videos. There are going to be lots and lots of new videos coming up. Keep watching, fill up the link in the description and I look forward to talking to you and having my team help you with your journey of entrepreneurship. Thanks a lot. This is Avi Arya signing off for now.